Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. In today's session, we will discuss about how to create IDAC extension one by one. Okay, first of all, let's understand why we need to create the extension for the IDAC. What's the need for it? Let me open the transaction code WE02. See here, for example, let me take the order create interface that is orders message type. By standard itself, for the, for the orders 05 basic type, we have these many segments are available, and each, each and every segment has, in, has its own field. Suppose if the business thinks that they want to push some data. And that is in not available in the standard segments. For example, they want to push the customer quantity. Okay, then in, in order to receive the data, we should prepare in our system. So, how to prepare in our system? For that, we should develop one custom segment. So the new field will be added in the custom segment only. To add the custom segment, we should go for extension. If and in the right side, you see here, we see basic type, message type, and extension, it's blank only. That means this IDA contains no custom field, everything standard only. If any extension here means that means that this IDA contains some custom segments are there. Right? In many of the projects, many of the companies, we should always go for extension to fulfill the business requirements only now let's see the steps one by one how to achieve this requirement okay the first step what we are going to do is that we are going to create the segment create the segment in so create custom segment transaction code is we31 this is the first step. Second step is that we need to create the extension. Get IDAC extension. The transaction code for this one is the WE30. Third step is to assign. So we need to link the, we need to link this uh, basic type extension and message type. For that, we should use the transaction code WE82. WE82 to link basic type, message type with extension. And fourth step is that we should add the function model. Add function model the combination of process type basic type and extension transaction code is WE57 and third step is that we need to create the partner sorry fifth step we need to create the partner for the transaction code is w20 create partner profile so these are the steps that you should follow to create the custom idac segments now let's just, let's do this configuration one by one so the first is that create the custom segment the transaction code is WE31. Let me go to WE31. So in WE31, first we will create the custom segment. So I will create one segment called ZSDS underscore customer1. And click enter. So give the name here and click create. 
okay click okay and add the field name here for example i'm going to add the field called the uh, first quantity and it is length of 10 characters and let me add the description and save it i'm going to save this in local system only so when you click on save it is asking for the person responsible and processed by let's leave it as a my user common only click ok i will save it in the local object then click local object that's it so we have created one custom segment with custom field added now second step is to create the extension in the transaction code we 30 so in w30 go to yeah click that uh, so we need to select this extension and uh, copy this one so we can give a segment name as extension name or we can give different one also so i am giving to remember to remember this easily what i will do i will give extension name as same as segment name custom segment name work select this radio button extension and add that uh, extension name click create click on ok ok now it is asking that for which basic type that this is relevant to i am going to create this for the basic type of orders because we are going to add the custom segment in orders 05 only ok now give this orders 05 message type then click ok ok let me give the description also here testing Okay. and we see the segments in basic 05 as it is a customer quantity business is going to push right then it should appear in the item segment put a cursor on this even dp01 segment remember that even dp01 segment is the segment which will holding the item details put a cursor here then click create click on ok now we'll add the segment type again copy the same segment type what we created in the first step copy this and put it here and a minimum number should be 1 maximum should be 5 and click on ok you see now this custom segment has been added under the standard segment even dp01 now save it again save it now it has been saved now so we have created the extension also same as idap the next step is to link the basic type message type with extension transaction code is we82 and uh, you see w82 we have some already some configs are here right now let's create a click on uh, change so now let's create the new entries or we can modify existing one also i will modify existing one okay message type is orders and uh, basic type is orders 05 extension okay let me click ok now okay we, we see here so many entries are here right okay what i will do let me create the new one i will copy this one then copy as i will go here copy the extension what we created in the previous step and enter and save it again in the okay save it fine it has been saved now okay it is it is done now completed okay let me note it down the next step is that we should assign the function model for this combination the code is we57 let me go to we57 again here also go to change mode and look for the combination of uh, basic type or DERS05 
and uh, message type should be orders or d e r s and click okay okay let me add the new entries then nothing to worry okay function model should be idoc underscore input underscore orders o r d e r s okay function type function model basic type o r d e r s o r d r s 05 and extension you can copy here okay let me copy this one and message type is orders o r d e r s so i'm getting some error here link between log message orders and adec type doesn't exist Okay. There seems to be some issue. Fine. This is the step that we should follow, and the last step is that. create the partner profile the transaction code to enter into partner profile is we20 right so if you see this idoc the partner number is t90clnt090 and the partner type is ls let me open ls and it is t90clnt090 Yeah, it is. Yeah, this one T ninety C L N T zero nine zero. And if you scroll down, you see here the orders. Yeah, so you see the orders here, right? Double click here and uh, go to change mode. Okay, let me. We are change mode only. And you see there is an extension tab already here. Let me add that extension. And copy here. Okay, it is saying that there is no config available in EDI. Okay, let me open the table. SC sixty n EDI MSG. Okay, let me add the extension now and execute. Okay, so we have added this to the wrong uh, message type here. That's the problem, right? That's why we are getting this error. So what we can do? Let me go to the transaction code WE five seven again. Sorry, eighty two I think eighty two, and uh, look for O R D G R S O R D G R S zero five enter. You see, I have given as a wrong one, right? Let me go to the change mode. Again, let me search it. Right. let me delete this one save it save it okay add the new entries o r d e r s o r d e r s uh, 05 and this extension really should be what is ca and save it it has been saved now now let me try yeah See now it has been accepted now, and if you see this uh, EDI MSG table also, we see one entry here. Give extension and execute. You see now it has been updated as orders. 
now in w20 partner profile i will save this it has been saved now so this is the basic config that we should do the last one is that we should write some custom logic to accept the data that will be done by our developer abapper and they will identify suitable customer exit where they can add that logic and they can try to retrieve the data if it's incoming ida they will retrieve the data if it's an outbound ida then they will try to get the data from any of the, any of the database table and try to upload into the custom segments that's it about this video friends we'll meet in the next video bye for now